Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am so excited to be with you all today and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. In today's video, I share with you how to make mayonnaise at home with or without a blender or food processor and i have five ways you can do this but i'm saving my favorite for last so let's get right into this recipe this requires just four ingredients and i'm using vegetable oil you need lemon you can use lime i also have one egg and some salt our first method will be using the egg yolk and since we'll be using our hand you want to put it on a heavy pot okay so that while whisking it doesn't move around i then added some salt and i'm also adding some of my lemon i'll be using a total of one tablespoon of lemon but i'm not adding everything at the same time and you want to mix this together until it is well incorporated once everything comes together we're going to go ahead and begin emulsifying this together with our oil so what we'll do is to add it in little by little okay so not everything at the same time you want to add it little by little while whisking and you will see the egg yolk beginning to become lighter in color but thicker in consistency i'm adding some more of the lemon just to lighten it up and then i'll begin adding more of the oil and you can see it is beginning to get lighter it was more yellow in the beginning now it's becoming a more creamy color so yeah this takes a lot of time and patience but if you don't have a food processor that you can use this is your best way to make your own mayonnaise at home knowing exactly what is in it and as you can see it is beginning to thicken up when using just the egg yolk i tend to use just half a cup of oil because you want to mix this and watch the thickness once it is at the thickness that you're going for it is ready and you are done so i'm just going to allow you all enjoy this And in about 10 minutes of whisking away, our mayo is ready. I have the thickness that I'm going for and it is just perfect. Just take a look at it. All right, you can go thicker by adding more oil and whisking if that's what you prefer. But this is just perfect for me. So I'm going to get it out of the bowl and set it aside and we will move on to the next method. Now this is still the hand method, but we'll be using the whole egg. So I added the egg to that. I'll add part of my lemon juice, not everything, and also some salt to taste. And just like the egg yolk, we will mix this until it is well incorporated. Now the only difference between this and the first method is that we're using the whole egg and this takes a bit longer and when done this is more on a pale side and I prefer that okay this takes longer because of course it has more parts of the egg instead of just the egg yolk and this is going to take all the oil so we're going to use the whole cup of oil in this method we end up getting more mayo and i like i prefer that color and as i said i keep adding my um, lemon juice little by little i'm also using a tablespoon of lemon juice in this one as well and the salt is always to your taste okay Continental food, madam. Food, madam. International food captain. Who show you how to make pizza? Jala, mango and okra soup. Sushi and pastries. All this and more. Sweet ajel. Go 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 gaga. Sweet ajel. Go 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 gaga. Sweet ajel. 
and 20 minutes of hard labor later there you have it you have your own homemade mayonnaise and this is my favorite color i love this color isn't it perfect yes so you can make it with the egg yolk only or with the full egg so now the hard labor is over let's move on to a easier way again we're using one egg and this one have two yolks that means blessings y'all <laughs> so i added my salt and lemon juice and this time i'm using my hand mixer of course it is much easier and once you mix everything until it is well incorporated we'll begin adding our vegetable oil little by little until we've added it all or until we have the perfect consistency that we're going for and about 10 minutes later the hand mixer have done its job and this is the consistency that we got with that so we will set that aside and move on to the next method in this method I'm using my master prep which is like a food processor and if you're using your blender you need a blender that have a pouring spout that you can add your oil little by little a regular blender will not help I'm sorry <laughs> so I've added the egg I've added some salt to taste and I'm adding some of my lemon juice and then we're going to cover this up mix it until it is well incorporated and then we open the pouring spout and we're going to begin adding our oil little by little doesn't have this so it will not work all right so yeah we're going to do this and then we'll move on to the final and my favorite method continental food madam food madam international food captain who showed you how to make pizza it is done and this is the consistency that we got with that so we will set this aside and as i said i'm super excited to share my favorite method with you all i love it it's quick it's simple you cannot beat that okay with this method i add my egg to that i'll add my one tablespoon of lemon juice my salt to taste and all of my oil and then yes using my immersion blender my goodness this takes just a minute and you have your own homemade mayonnaise so i was going to share this method only and i thought wait a minute what if somebody doesn't have this that means they can't make mayo no 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 that is why i ended up sharing every other method that i know but as you can see this is like in a minute and we have our mayonnaise yes that is it look how nice and thick and creamy this is and we are done you can now serve and enjoy and you can keep this in your refrigerator for up to a month in an airtight container all right thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up because it does help me out a lot thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber 
welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team y'all know i love you until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys bye y'all